Are you moving to Hill Air Force Base? Maybe you're an active duty military member that just got orders to Hill. Maybe you've accepted a civilian job at Hill or you work for one of the contractors on the base. Well, Utah has a lot of beauty. There are a lot of amazing places to visit in Utah, but the West Coast of the United States has some amazing places also. So on this video, I'm going to cover five areas for you to consider visiting that are outside of the state of Utah. Actually, as I was doing a video, I came up with one more. So I'm going to make it five plus a bonus one. And we're going to cover the north, the south, the east, and the west. And every location that I've got on my list, you can jump in a car and take a road trip. So it's very affordable. And we're going to get after it right now. Welcome to the Living in Utah channel. I'm Mike Gallagher. I'm a local real estate agent right here in Utah. And on this channel, we talk everything about the state of Utah. Eating, sleeping, drinking, playing, whatever there is. If this is your first time on my channel, you may consider tapping that subscribe button down below and hitting that bell notification and you'll receive an alert of when I release a new video. And that's every week. And honestly, we've been helping so many people from all over the world buy or sell real estate, and we absolutely love it. And I am the one who answers the phone calls. So give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. We got your back when moving to the U State. So first on my list, the Grand Canyon. It's located south of Utah. It has to be one of America's greatest treasures. Grand Canyon, Yellowstone National Park, doesn't get much better than that. Every time I go to the Grand Canyon, it's just an amazing experience, breathtaking views. It never gets old. There are four areas to the Grand Canyon, the north, the south, the east, and the west. So the east area, you'll find areas like Lake Powell, Horseshoe Bend, Antelope Canyon. So back to Lake Powell, very popular with people from Utah, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, people who own boats love to go to Lake Powell. At Lake Powell, you'll find a lot of houseboats. You can own a houseboat. You can rent a houseboat. You can do a timeshare with a houseboat. Then you have the south area of the Grand Canyon, which you get access from the Arizona area. This is the classical national park area. It's open year round, so you can go anytime you want. You'll find tour guides. You'll find amenities, lots to do, and lots of tours if you would like to take a tour. Then we have the north area, which is more remote. It's only open from like May to October. It's like a six month period. It's more rustic. It's got that pristine experience, smaller crowds, but amazing views. I think it's a great place to take photographs. If you're a hiker, a backpacker, a camper, I definitely recommend the north area for you. So then you have the West area, which is also very popular, mostly because it's real close to Las Vegas. So if you're in Las Vegas, you can take a day trip on a bus or a limo or even a helicopter. And that is one cool experience. I once took a helicopter tour from Las Vegas to the Grand Canyon, an amazing experience. It's definitely something to do at least once in your lifetime. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but if you get the opportunity, I think you will enjoy it. If you want a different experience of the Grand Canyon, you can also ride, say, a UTV or an ATV from the St. George, Utah area to the Grand Canyon. It's becoming very, very popular. There's quite a few different routes and different companies that you can go with to enjoy this particular ride. I've got friends that have taken the trip and are absolutely thrilled with it. Hopefully, one day, I get to take that trip also. Next on the list, let's take a trip out west to the Reno, Lake Tahoe area. This particular location is probably the furthest away on my list at about 530 to 550 miles away from Hill Air Force Base. If it's too much for you to drive in one day, you can always drive halfway or part of the way, stay in places like Elko or Windover or Winnemucca, and then continue on your journey the next day. Every time I think about Reno, I think about the Reno Air Races. They hold the event once a year. I've had the pleasure of going to the event twice and every time I have an absolute blast. Get to see the old war planes flying around. The roar of the engines, the roar of the ground, it's just a great, great feeling. Reminds me of watching them old World War II movies from Germany and England. 
of what it must have been like to be in the military during that time and have the old P-51 Mustangs fly overhead into combat. Also, when you're in Reno, the National Automobile Museum. It's one of the nicest museums we have in the United States. You'll find over 200 rare, one-of-a-kind vehicles. Sometimes they keep swapping vehicles out, so you can go at different occasions and you may see different vehicles. If you would like to take a nice walk when you're in Reno, I recommend the Riverwalk District. Take a walk, enjoy nature, walk along the river. It's also a great place to grab a bite to eat. A lot of mom and pop businesses located right there along the river. So if we continue our journey a little further west, we run into Lake Tahoe. Very popular place. There's lots to do. That's what makes Lake Tahoe so popular. You can go on like an Emerald Bay cruise. You can go on a sailing cruise. There are helicopter tours. I see helicopters all the time. It looks pretty fun to take a helicopter around there. I personally have never done the helicopter tour, but it looks very nice. One of my favorite things to do is the sunset dinner cruise. It's a beautiful time, beautiful scenery, have dinner at the same time. I really enjoy the sunset dinner cruise. I also really enjoy South Lake Tahoe. That's the wine country area. If you enjoy the whole wine country feeling and scene, it's very beautiful down that area. A couple other things I've seen people do at Lake Tahoe is they drive around on those Polaris slingshots, like a motorcycle, car combination. You can rent those machines and take them around Lake Tahoe. I haven't personally done it, but it does look very exciting. Also, it's a great place to go fly fishing. And Lake Tahoe is known for its skiing during the wintertime. Skiing, snowboarding, very popular there at Lake Tahoe. Although, I think in Utah, we have the best snow on earth. So I think our skiing is a little bit better. But if you're in Lake Tahoe during the winter months, give the skiing a try. So now that we've been out west, let's take a trip out to the east, to Denver, Colorado. You have two options. You can drive or fly. If you're going to drive it in a car, you're about an eight-hour drive from Hill Air Force Base. If you would like to fly, there are plenty of flights outside of Salt Lake City. Frontier Airlines, Southwest Airlines, Delta Airlines. You can usually find a fairly reasonable ticket price right out to Denver with those airlines. My opinion, Denver's known as a sports town. If you're a football fan, you have the Denver Broncos. If you are a baseball fan, you have the Colorado Rockies. If you're a hockey fan, you have the Avalanche. And if you're a basketball fan, you have the Denver Nuggets. Pretty much most of the major sports are supported right there in Denver. Maybe you're not a sports fan, you're a music fan. Take a trip out to the Red Rock Amphitheater. Great place to hold a concert. Check the schedule. Maybe when you're in town, you will enjoy some of the music that's being played out there. But also, Denver is known as a thriving beer culture. They have over 100 breweries and tap rooms throughout the Denver metro area. And they also have a Denver beer trail where you'll find about 30 of Denver's top breweries. So maybe shopping is your ideal enjoyment. About 5 to 10 minutes outside of Denver, you'll run into Cherry Creek. Premier shops, premier dining, it's all right there at Cherry Creek. So if you're in a car while you're in the Denver area, take a drive through the Highlands neighborhood. You'll see some beautiful Victorian area homes. It's also a great place. Grab a bite to eat, a little bit of shopping. Great neighborhood. Also, if you're a college football fan, just outside of Denver, you have the Air Force Academy located up on the hill. Beautiful part of the country. Great facility. It's always a great time at the Air Force game. My brother lives in the Denver area. We usually pop out and try to catch the game against either Army or Navy. Every year, the Air Force football team plays for what they call the Commander's Cup. So either Army or Navy comes into town. The game is always sold out, packed solid, great time, great flyovers. But also, if you go to a night game there during the winter months, highly recommend you bring some winter clothes. It gets cold up on the hill. Next on the list, let's take a trip up north to Montana. They call this Big Sky Country. It's probably one of the most beautiful places that we have in the United States. Now, I love Utah. I'm a big fan of Utah. It's my home. But if money was no object, a Montana ranch on a stream would be awesome. I recently read it where Rupert Murdoch purchased a ranch in Montana. It was $200 million. Way, way out of my price range. But I could always dream. And if I did have a ranch in Montana, it would only be during the summer. The winters up there are brutal. It's a different ballgame living in Montana during the winter months. 
But if you're going to Montana and you've got a nice camera with some zoom lenses, you can get some amazing pictures, even just from the roadside. Just fabulous. After all, Montana is the land of wide open spaces. So in Montana, there are plenty of outdoor activities for you to do. Whatever you like to do, you probably can find it in Montana. And there's also some great ski resorts. One particular resort that I enjoy is called Big Sky Resort. During the wintertime, you can go skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling. And during the summertime, it's also a great time. You can do zip line. You can do paintball, archery, mountain biking, horseback riding, hiking. There's some great dining options. There's also a gym. They also have a child care facility and they have a spa. Big Sky Resort, great place to go to. So next on the list, let's take a trip up north again to Jackson Hole and Yellowstone National Park. Great place. On the drive up there, you'll go through a city in Idaho called Island Park, another great destination. They actually have the longest main street in the United States. I think it's about 36 miles long. I was just up there the other weekend, got a little bit of snow came through Utah. Idaho got more snow. I was eager to go snowmobiling. So I went up to Island Park and had a great time. I have ridden snowmobile UTV up there many, many times. Island Park is also a great place to rent a cabin. But at Island Park, if you own a UTV, ATV, dirt bike, snowmobile, consider this as a destination to go to. So as you leave Island Park, you'll drive up to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Beautiful, beautiful location. While you're there, stop by the Grand Teton National Park. You have over 300,000 acres of natural beauty. You drive in the park and you'll see the snow-capped peaks, the crystal clear lakes. It's a great opportunity to go hiking, rock climbing, cross-country skiing, fishing, you name it, it's probably right there. But also keep your eyes open. You may see some moose, some elk, some bison. They all roam freely. Now, if you're in a car, take a drive along the John D. Rockefeller Memorial Parkway. What a beautiful scenic drive. But be warned, your neck might get sore from looking around at all the beautiful scenery. So while you're up that area, you have Yellowstone National Park. So Yellowstone National Park, the Grand Canyon, the national parks in Utah, is some of the best you will find in the United States. Definitely in the west coast at yellowstone you have over 2.2 million acres yes that was 2.2 million acres now yellowstone is famous for its geysers the hot springs and the most famous geyser old faithful it's a great trip every time i go to yellowstone i never get bored i enjoy it every single time the natural beauty is amazing so next on the list, let's take a trip down south to Las Vegas, Nevada. It's probably the entertainment capital of the world. You get visitors from all over the world. You name the country, they probably come to Las Vegas. If you've ever been to the airport in Las Vegas, there are flights coming in and out of that airport 24 hours a day. It does not stop. There's so much to do in Las Vegas. Most people are familiar with the casinos and the fine dining in Vegas. So I'm going to cover a couple other options to do in Vegas the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. If you're a race car fan, NASCAR comes to Las Vegas two times a year. Yes, two times a year. It's a great experience. Me personally, I'm not a really big NASCAR fan. I don't really watch it on TV, but to watch it live, I absolutely love it. I've been a few times. It's a great experience. If you go, you can also purchase an extra ticket called the Neon Garage Pass. I do not know where they came up with the name Neon Garage. That's what they call it. So there's a tunnel that goes to the infield. So every race car team has its own pit area and they put glass in front of their pit area so you can watch them working on the car. It's a great experience. Like if they have an accident and they bring the car back to the garage, you get to view everything they're doing, going at breakneck speed, trying to get that car back on the track. Also at the Motor Speedway, they do drag racing. NHR, NHRA comes to the track at least once a year and at this location they have the ability to run four cars wide Boom. that is an amazing experience you feel the rumble the noise the ground shakes it does get a little bit loud so if you go to the drag racing i highly recommend a good set of ear protection also in the sports arena you have the las vegas raiders are now in town i personally haven't seen a game there yet 
But I did go down to the Garth Brooks concert at the new stadium. It's a beautiful stadium. I actually like the location of the stadium. Some people have been complaining about it. Beautiful, beautiful facility. It's a great opportunity if you're going there for a concert or an NFL game. I'll have to catch an NFL game there sometime or maybe the Pac-12 championship. Also, if you're a hockey fan, you have the Las Vegas Knights. That's also located right downtown. It's right behind the New York New York Casino, so it's real easy to get to. In Vegas, we can't forget about the air show at Nellis Air Force Base. It's usually the last show of the year that the Thunderbirds perform. So you get the Thunderbirds and you get many other entertainers. One time I was down there and I got to see a Heritage flight. They had a P-51 Mustang, an F-4 Phantom, an F-16 Falcon, and an F-22 all flying together to show many years of the Air Force. It's a memory that I will never forget for the rest of my life. Vegas, don't forget about the gambling, the world-class restaurants, and also the world-class golf courses. If you're a golf fan, they have some beautiful courses down there. And the entertainment industry, whether it is a concert or some other form of entertainer, they probably will make a trip to Las Vegas. So in conclusion, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And I hope you enjoy your time at Hill Air Force Base. Whether it's a short time or a long time period, there is a lot to see and do in the state of Utah and the neighboring states. The West Coast of the United States is a very beautiful part of the United States. Till the next video, take care and stay safe.